EHS program at Berkeley is unique because it combines a variety of disciplines. It has faculty that have a variety of interests, span a bunch of different topics from air and water pollution to pesticides to exposure science and statistics. So what I thought was special about the EHS program was that it's a very interdisciplinary program and so it was easy to find people that were doing similar things that could support the kind of work that I was interested in and also that there were a lot of connections to the field and my advisor had a background and training in chemistry and so she was able to really support sort of method development and interesting lab technique um, whereas somebody who had a different background maybe it would have been more difficult. There are some graduate programs where they really kind of uh, emphasize creating an infrastructure, particularly the PhD level, an infrastructure and, a, and like a, they give you a lot of kind of responsibilities which kind of turn into opportunities, but it's all very kind of prescripted, whereas at Berkeley you really kind of make your own way. I wanted to do something that was somewhat new at the time, which was doing spatial analysis for exposure assessment, and there weren't any classes in the School of Public Health that it taught, taught that at all and so I needed to take classes in other parts of the campus and our faculty helped me figure out what would make sense and where I could get that education so it was really good that they were supportive of that instead of insisting that I take classes within our school or not specialize in something that the faculty didn't have specific expertise in. So that was a real bonus because it was an emerging field at the time and so it was an unusual thing to train in and it was a great opportunity for me. My advisors were hands up yet extremely supportive. They never micromanaged me. Um, I always felt I was treated like a colleague rather than, than I'm their student, I'm working for them. Instead, of, I felt I was working with them. So my advisor is Tom McCone. He's an adjunct professor and he's been particularly interesting to work with because as an adjunct who's primary appointment was at Lawrence Berkeley Lab. It was important to him that I would sort of develop independently as a scholar and he really kind of was more kind of I think interested in mentoring me as a person and as a professional rather than as sort of like uh, just an academic. The most useful piece of advice my advisor ever gave me, I'll focus on two things he said, not one. Uh, one, he said to think about where the risk is and to focus your efforts and energy there and I find that to be pretty informative on structuring the way I think about environmental health problems both now and in the future. The second piece of advice he gave me that was also useful is to not get too bogged down in the questions that are extremely interesting scientifically but to also think about how they apply broadly to social and political concerns and how when we think about these problems, we might be able to offer solutions that impact a number of people. So while we do a lot of interesting measurement and interesting science, um, he reminds us to step back from that and think about it in the broader context. I don't remember how many recommendation letters my advisor has written me. They probably have a folder of F, uh, recommendations for me. Um, when I was sick and hospitalized, I had emails, phone calls from faculties and students asking me how I'm doing. They even came to the hospital to visit me. So I felt extremely supported. Well, the main thing that really comes to mind in the past uh, couple of months is that I went on the academic job market looking for a faculty position, which is a very time consuming and, and really somewhat stressful endeavor. And I reached out to a lot of people at Berkeley and asked for support in various ways, helping me prepare the different materials or practice my interview or provide some emotional support or make suggestions about all these different details. And I found to a person, every single person that I asked for help at Berkeley immediately helped me in the best way they could, in a very efficient way. And it's not that it took a lot of time for them, but it just really made a huge difference for me. I appreciated that collegial support. I felt that was part of the culture. One thing that was really great about my experience with EHS was that something that I didn't think would be so great at the time, which is that I got to go through all of the stages of um, formulating a research project, writing a grant, getting a grant, performing the work, writing up the final report for the grant in addition to doing the dissertation work. And so that was a real learning experience that I think was an advantage that I understood sort of where I was going and what it meant to be on um, grant-funded research 
in the field, especially these days? Berkeley is fun. My experience in Berkeley has been great. Good weather, great outdoor, and the fantastic food scene here. Very healthy as well. Um, other ex fun experience was going to con international conferences with, with faculties and students. The most fun I've had at Berkeley would be either one of the campouts that Norma organized or some of the international experiences I've been lucky to have, whether it's suffering through cold, smoggy winters in India or uh, leading some workshops in Bhutan and Nepal. And I've been lucky to travel all over the place and do work all over the place and meet really fascinating colleagues who work on a bunch of different issues. It uh, means it's taken me a long time to get through the program, but it's been really worth it. So I'm going to give some contradictory advice to future EHS students. I think you should focus as much as possible on getting through the program, taking your exams, finishing up, but also take advantage of the broader intellectual culture at Berkeley. Take classes outside of your department or outside of your interests. I think they'll, you know, one, it's the last time you'll get to do that, and two, they kind of inform your broader perspective. Well, the intellectual culture at Berkeley is very progressive, new, and innovative.